Hi, it's Oscar. Welcome to another How with ServiceNow. In this episode, I'm going to show you how to set up the Service Graph Connector for Tenable for Assets and the configuration to run this integration. First of all, we're going to head ourselves to System Definitions and Plugins, and we're going to search for Tenable. Of course, you would have to, prior to this step, go to the ServiceNow store and request for the plugin to become available on your instance. So once you, you have done that, then you, will, you should see the Service Graph Connector available to be installed in any of the instances that you have. So I'm going to head and click on Install. Of course, it's going to say that it's going to install the, ten the Tenable connector and some other of the plugins that are needed and required by Tenable to run successfully. So I'm going to click on Install. And let's sit and wait for a couple minutes until the installation is complete. Okay, once you have the success on the install, you can close this and then you can just double check that your service graph connector for Tenable is installed already. Okay, and we have the Tenable connector which is installed and for assets it's installed as well. Now for the next tab, something that I would uh, recommend is that we can create a user account in ServiceNow in order to leverage this account in the Tenable integration. So what I'm going to do is to create something called Tenable Assets. That's going to be like the user ID. Then I'm going to say it's going to be Tenable and then Assets. And then I'm just going to save this. Um, and just press Ctrl S to save the the record. And something that I of also would suggest to do is to go to uh, the related list of roles, and then we hit on Edit, and then let's pick up anything related to the CMDV, especially for admin. So I'm just going to grab everything that has admin. Because at the end, this integration is going to run and is going to create and update records in the CMDV. OK, I don't need to set a password. I am just, just created this account. I set these um, roles for CMDV. And then uh, I'll be able to leverage this Tenable Assets account. So I'm going to hit Tenable now. And then we're going to go to Connectors. Then we're going to say Create New. Here, the Tenable product we want to integrate with is the Tenable IO. So that's on the cloud. So let's give it a name as Tenable assets and then we need the access key and secret key so that's what we need to put over there so I'm just gonna paste it all right and now this is the interesting part the scheduled job can run as so let's select our tenable uh, that's the account we created earlier and something that I often recommend as well by default all the data that is going to be imported is going to be done by chunks so something that I run across many times is that if you have a higher chunk size uh, something happens with the import and fails the the, the import of data and uh, and the mapping and transformation of the data. So I would recommend you to cut it half, probably 600 would do a very good number of chunk size. I would strongly recommend you to try 600 first and then start increasing a little bit more and until you see that the integration fails um, because the chunk size is too big. 
So you would normally get an error saying that the chunk size is too big. So that's why I would recommend you to start with 600. Okay, so let's save this and now we can test the connector to see if we have successful connection. So successfully connected to the target settings connector to healthy. So now the healthy checkbox is checked. All right. So the next step is now we can run this import and this integration. So we are going ahead. Uh, we're going to go ahead and click on schedule jobs. Right. So we need to set up the schedule job now. So we're going to head and click on new. Then we have to choose our connector, which is basically tenable. Tenable assets, the one we just predefined. And it's going to be the service graph connector for tenable assets. The tenable job type is going to be assets. By default is the product tenable IO. The import export is, is an import actually what we're running. It's going to give you by default this name. You can leave it as it is. And then it's going to be active. And here is where you can specify how often you want to run this, right? So we can set it up just to run on a daily basis. So that's periodically and it's going to repeat every one day. So it's going to run every day. So I'm going to save this. And as soon as I saved, um, it started to run the import. So as you can see at the bottom on the tenable jobs related list, it has created the first job to pull those uh, assets from tenable. So this is going to run. And actually, we can open this one and then we can see that it's actually doing it. And we're connected and it's actually running, importing, transforming data, and we can see how many records has retrieved. So I'm going to leave it there, sit it for a few minutes, and then I'll come back to see what are the results. And now, as we can see, it's um, completed 100%. The state has changed to completed. So we can just reload the form to refresh everything. And we have all the logs right here. There is no, um, there are no errors. You see that chunk sizes are 600. That means 600 records. So we can see here more information. Uh, the logs as well, jo uh, logs uh, journal. So you will see imported, completed, no errors, no issues. And then down here at the tenable job chunks, you can see that the chunks are numbered. Okay, so there were some quite uh, 23 chunks files. Each and every chunk has 600 records and they were processed 100%. So all of this is what we have processed with this tenable integration. Now what we can do to double check and see that data, right? So let's go ahead and go to CMDV underscore CI and then we go with filter. So we just want to filter um, what we want to see um, on source. We're going to discovery source. We're going to select tenable for assets, right? And then we're just going to hit run. And here is where we're going to see all those CIs, right? So um, what I'm going to do is to open this one. And finally, see the created by and the updated by. Okay. And see here, one loose in a minute, then we're going to see everything that was created or updated by Tenable Assets. And this is exactly what we wanted to leverage the account we created in ServiceNow so we can easily identify 
what CIs are created and what CIs are updated by Tenable integration. Okay, so this is pretty much it. Hope you enjoyed this session today. And uh, we'll see you next time. Please subscribe.